Hello. And welcome to Textile Technical Insights. Some of the chemicals pose serious health hazards to humans and environment. ECHA has named them as SVHCs. Substances a very high concern. They are divided into six groups. Carcinogenic. Mutagenic. Reproductive toxic. PBT. VPVB. ELOC. We have already discussed carcinogenic, mutagenic and reproductive toxic in a separate video. Now let's discuss PBT, VPVB and ELOC. PBT Persistent, bioaccumulative and toxic. What are persistent chemicals? These chemicals can't be degraded by natural environmental process, like sunlight and bacteria. Once they are released into environment, they can exist in as it is formed for many days. Metals like lead, cadmium are basic elements and can't be broken down further. A substance is persistent if it meets the following criteria. The degradation half-life in marine water is higher than 60 days. B. The degradation half-life in fresh or estuarine water is higher than 40 days. C. The degradation half-life in marine sediment is higher than 180 days. D. The degradation half-life in fresh water sediment is higher than 120 days. E. The degradation half-life in soil is higher than 120 days. Bioaccumulative chemicals that accumulate in living organism and concentration continues to increase in body tissues are called bioaccumulative if a chemical dissolves in an organic solvent more than it dissolves in water then it will by accumulate in living organism many bioaccumulative chemicals are fat soluble they resides in fat deposits or in the fatty substances in blood Bioaccumulative substances may be deposited in brain, muscle and bones. The bioconcentration factor BCF, is the unit of measurement of bioaccumulation. It is the concentration of a chemical in aquatic organism with respect to concentration of chemical in surrounding water. If BCF of a chemical greater than 2000 liter per kg, it is labeled as bioaccumulative chemical. Toxic. Once a chemical enters into the food chain, it will get accumulated in multicellular organisms. After the chemical gets accumulated up to a certain level, it will show its toxic property. The host body may be affected by serious disease, like damage to DNA, neurological disorder etc. Carcinogenic. Developmental toxicity. Reproductive toxic problems may happen. Article 57D of REACH Regulation 1907, 2006 is about PBT classification. VPVB Very persistent and very bioaccumulative. According to REACH Regulation a substance is called Very persistent. The degradation half-life in marine Fresh or estuarine water is higher than 60 days. B. The degradation half-life in marine Fresh or estuarine water sediment is higher than 180 days. C. The degradation half-life in soil is higher than 180 days. Very bioaccumulative. A chemical is called very bioaccumulative. If the BCF greater than 5000 liter per kg. Article 57E of REACH Regulation 1907, 2006 is about VPVB classification. ELOC Substance of equivalent level of concern These are the substances which REACH considers equivalent in their effect when compared to substances under carcinogenic, mutagenic, reproductive toxic, PBT and VPVB category. The following factors are taken into account while deciding a substance under this category. A. Severity of health effects 
B. Irreversibility of health effects. C. Delay of health effects. D. Uncertainties on safe exposure. E. Societal concern and impairment of quality of life. Example 1 Endocrine Disruptors HERM-1 system of body is known as endocrine system. Many chemicals may mimic or interfere with the body's hormones. These are endocrine disruptors. These chemicals are linked with developmental, reproductive, brain, immune, and other problems. Endocrine disruptors are found in many everyday products, like plastic bottles, detergents, toys etc. People are exposed to multiple endocrine disruptors at the same time. So it is quite difficult to access the health effects. BPA, bisphenol A, triclosan and phthalate are endocrine disruptors. Example 2 Respiratory Sensitizers A respiratory sensitizer is a substance which when inhaled can trigger an irreversible allergic reaction in the respiratory system. Tightness of the chest, breathlessness, coughing, itchy eyes and nose are allergic symptoms. Breathing in the substances may irritate and cause damage to the nose, throat and lungs. Mineral oils, isocinates, resins are respiratory sensitizers. Article 57F of REACH Regulation 1907-2006 is about substances of equivalent level of concern. Thanks for watching. Please like, share this video and subscribe to this channel.